Did you know temperatures on the moon's surface are twice as hot as the hottest temperatures ever recorded on Earth? Even more extreme, temperatures on the dark side of the moon, 280 degrees below zero. That's seven times colder than Antarctica, our coldest spot on Earth. But why? Why are temperatures on the moon's surface so extreme compared to Earth? The difference? Our atmosphere. The moon's atmosphere is billions of times thinner than Earth's, resulting in huge temperature swings. But it isn't just Earth's thicker atmosphere that keeps our temperatures mild. It's the actual gases themselves that make all the difference. While 99.9% .9 of our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, and argon, it's that last one-tenth of 1% 1 that keeps Earth habitable. These are our greenhouse gases, like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. These specific gases create the greenhouse effect. But how can a fraction of a percent of our atmosphere be in control of all life on Earth? To understand Earth's greenhouse effect, let's look at how an actual greenhouse really works. Let's say we want to grow tomatoes. Even in the winter, for tomatoes to grow, the temperature must stay above 55 degrees. To control that temperature, we can grow them in a greenhouse. The walls and roof of the greenhouse allow the sun's energy in. But because the entire greenhouse is sealed shut, it becomes very hard for that same energy to get out. At night, temperatures will plummet 30 or 40 degrees. But inside the greenhouse, temperatures will only drop 5 to 10 degrees. This keeps our tomato plants at just the right temperature to survive. The greenhouse gases in our atmosphere work exactly the same way allowing energy into Earth's atmosphere while simultaneously stopping energy from escaping back out to space. For plants, animals, and humans to survive on Earth, we need just the right amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. If we don't have enough greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, we won't trap enough heat. And over time, our planet will cool, eventually turning Earth into a giant ball of ice. Trap too much, and over time, we become just like our cosmic neighbor, Venus. At one time, Venus was just like Earth with habitable temperatures and even water on its surface. But billions of years with a runaway greenhouse effect has warmed the planet's surface to 462 degrees, vaporizing any water that may have once been there. Earth is also experiencing an increase in greenhouse gases. Fortunately, excess amounts of water vapor can immediately be taken out of our atmosphere by becoming clouds and storms. But excess amounts of methane and carbon dioxide cannot be and will remain in our atmosphere for over 100 years. By understanding the greenhouse effect, we can now understand how the smallest changes to one-tenth of 1% 1 of our atmosphere can change a planet's future.